What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys something a little bit different. This is going to be clips from a disputed match. The first thing here is just proving that I didn't have spectating enabled like they claimed later on. Um, and I'll tell you guys what they basically claimed here in just a minute. But first things first is that uh, this is a little bit of an extra video. Uh, just because I felt like my updates video wasn't, you know, super entertaining or anything, and I wanted to give you guys some more competitive tips and tricks videos, so I hope you guys enjoy it. So, getting into it here, basically, these guys, first of all, claimed that we had spectating enabled. Uh, secondly, they claimed that somebody joined at, like, the third or fourth round and spectated the rest of it, which is obviously going to be false. I'll show you several rounds from the game. And thirdly, they claimed that we uh, host booted in the second map and I'll show you what round that happened on and um, you know we obviously didn't do it definitely stick around for the end as well because I have a chat with this kid and it by the end of it it's just it's so hilarious I don't even know what to do with it it like it was really kind of mind-boggling um, they made some threats on Twitter towards me afterwards like before I started getting too much into the chat and it was uh, it was at that point that I realized that this could be something really really funny so I hope you guys enjoy it uh, today's topic is how to handle disputers, and of course, that's why I've got this video in the background here. So, starting off with the basics. First things first is that you always need to have proof of some sort. Um, you know, there's a way you can record with Xbox One if you have it where you like double tap the home button and then press X and it records the last 30 seconds, so you can do that. Um, you can take pictures with your phone if you've got a smartphone or whatever, or if just any phone that can take pictures I don't know I'm not huge into phones or anything so you, you know how to take proof with it if you've got it or of course you can always record it with an Elgato or, or an Aver Media or whatever uh, just make sure you have proof because there's immaturity in the community and there that means there will always be disputers there will always be people that are just going to try and get an easy win or something so always have proof on hand next thing is always be respectful this includes um, using clean language and not lying, being honest, and not making threats towards people, um, especially towards the staff or the community that's going to be reviewing your ticket. So, for example, here, you know, you wouldn't want to use any foul language, you wouldn't want to accuse them of anything you can't prove or the, your opponents of anything you can't prove towards the staff or anything, well done, and you always want to end your ticket thanking them for taking their time out of their day to look at your proof look at your ticket um, you know show them that you appreciate it because it makes it you look more professional and everything and remember the majority of communications between your opponents and or the staff here is going to be through tight chat sort of scenarios so you have control over what you say um, you know I understand in the heat of the moment if you're talking to them like face to face or on the mic that you may go somewhere you don't mean to go with your language or you may accuse them of something but when you're typing you have complete control over it you have complete control before you press that send button or submit so you know make sure it's it's professional before you send it or anything um, that's very very important and of course I, I, I need to touch on this a little more don't make threats I've known and, and don't lie because I've seen I've had former teammates that have done this where they will claim that they know a GB admin or something, or they'll make threats towards them, like, oh, we're going to DDoS you now or something, which both of those things are not good to do, especially since you can get banned for them. So, you know, you don't want to lie. You don't want to make threats. It doesn't work out. Um, and then the last thing, and this is something I learned from this match, because I've always been very, very frustrated with disputers, but I learned from this match that relaxing having fun with it and using humor really makes it almost an an enjoyable experience as a matter of fact in this case it did become an enjoyable experiment experience so much so that i'm making a video on it um you know like if they're being over the top with it just see what they have to say and then refute what they're saying and then throw in some jokes and it can it can be a fun time because they're expecting you to come back with an aggressive tone or an aggressive behavior and if you come back just correcting them and throwing in some jokes they'll eventually not really understand what's going on and um they either give up and go away or they completely flip their position which this guy does in the end and it's absolutely hilarious 
So, um, you know, I, I hope this helps you guys. You know what? Next time you guys have a dispute, try using some of this. You know, be respectful. Throw in some humor if they're talking to you or whatever. And just kind of see what happens. Let me know if you've had any experiences similar to this. And, um, you know, as I'm going here, make sure you stick around for the very end of it because it's absolutely hilarious. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody, peace out.